Word's graphics have certainly come a long way. You can now use picture tools to knock out backgrounds and remove spot color from images. No longer do you need to edit the image in Photoshop and then import it, or suffer a logo with a white background. We'll start by removing the background from an image. I'm going to go to the Insert tab and click on the Picture button. I'll navigate to my Exercise Files to Chapter 10, and here I have a picture of some olives. This tool works best with uncluttered backgrounds and edges with a lot of contrast. So it'll work relatively well on this image, but it won't be perfect. But it's a useful tool nonetheless. I'll click on my picture, and so I'm in the Picture Tools Format ribbon. And the very first button says Remove Background. So I'll click on it. Now two things will happen. My picture turns pink, and Word makes an attempt to figure out what the foreground of the picture is. I also have a brand new ribbon. So the first button is Mark Areas to Keep. So if there are parts of the image that are missing, like this little nubbin down here, I'll go ahead and draw my pencil across it, and it will think for a minute and add it in. I'll also bring back in this part of the leaf right here. Let me go a little further. I usually find that painting with little lines is more effective. Notice that there's a bounding box here. If I hold my cursor over one of the handles and get a double-headed arrow, I can bring it up a little bit. This helps Word redefine what your focal point of the picture is. And sure enough, it added this stem right here. The next button is Mark Areas to Remove. I don't want this leaf, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a line across here. And I'm going to draw a little line across here as well. I'll draw down this color leaf right here. And notice that I'm basically drawing across an area of one solid color. Now that last one that I did cut out too much, and this is going to look awkward right here. The next button up on the ribbon is Delete Mark, and I'll click on it and click on that minus. It goes away, and the content comes back. Once I've spent some time refining all my little edges, I'll come up to the ribbon and tell it to keep the changes. Now I have a cutout of my olives. I'll go ahead and make this a lot smaller, change the wrap text to square, and move it over here to the right-hand side. Check it out. I have olives. The next technique I want to show you is called Set Transparent Color, and it works best for GIFs and drawings with areas of flat color. Go to the Insert tab and click on the Picture button. This time I'm going to use the bottle image. And I'll go ahead and grab the corner to shrink it down and change the wrap to square. And move the button over to the right-hand side. Now this image was made on a white background, and because we have a white background, it's going to be a little hard to see. So I'm going to take a moment and do something that's a little silly, but go over to the Page Layout tab, and go over to the Page Color button, and I'm going to make my document light green, just so you can see the effect in action. So here I have a light green background, but a white outline around my bottle. I'll go back to the Picture Tools Format tab, and I'm going to come over to the Color button on the left-hand side. Down at the bottom, there's an option for Set Transparent Color. When I click on it, my cursor turns into a pen with a little black angle on it. And I'll click on it, and my white background goes away. Now I have a cutout picture on a colored background. It looks fabulous. This is the perfect technique to use if you've ever inserted a logo onto a page, and it has a white background. Now you can get rid of it. The ability to remove backgrounds and colors from your images right inside Word Cuts down round tripping from image editors, saving you hours of time and workflow headaches.